Thank you. For those who don't know who you are by now, would you kindly give the dear audience a brief summary of your backstory as a Jew and what led you to be a Bible scholar and how you found Christ? Sure thing. So I was born in New York City, 1955. My mom and dad are Jewish. We moved to Long Island when I was a boy. I was born mitzvah at the age of 13. But we were not religious Jews, so it was more of a social event than a spiritual event for me. You know, we were kind of nominal in our faith. But as Jews, you know, we're Jews and, and others are not, and it's kind of us and them. But uh, I was playing drums as a boy, got uh, interested in the whole rock scene, and went to my first rock concert at 13, so a Jimi Hendrix in concert, and that just kind of opened up that whole door of, of the scene of rebellion to me. So when I was 14, I was asked if I wanted to try getting high, which I did, and got very much into drugs, was shooting heroin at the age of 15. And then at the age of 16, playing in a band with my two best friends, they liked these two girls whose uncle was a pastor and his dad had been praying for them. They started attending a little gospel preaching church. Uh, my friends went to hang out with them. God started to change their lives. I went to, to dissuade them and to pull them out. People there began to pray for me. And by the end of the year, I was radically born again. It, it wasn't through an intellectual effort as much as the Holy Spirit convicted me of sin and just opening my eyes to the reality that Jesus was the Messiah. And then as a born again person, my dad saw that the drugs were completely gone from my life uh, really overnight. And he said, Michael, um, I'm glad you're off drugs, but we're Jews. We don't believe this. So he asked me to meet the local rabbi. I began to dialogue with the local rabbi, a brilliant young man, fresh out of Jewish Theological yes. Seminary, who had just taken over our synagogue. And he began to challenge me. You don't even know Hebrew. How can you tell us what to believe? So when I started college, I thought I better start taking Hebrew classes. But they were all modern Hebrew. So I, I, I got a grammar and uh, taught myself biblical Hebrew while studying modern Hebrew, then realized, you know, if I could learn some of the other languages, it would be useful related Semitic languages and other ancient languages and things. So that led to my getting a doctorate in Near Eastern languages and literatures from New York University. So it was the challenge to my faith as a Jewish believer that got me on the path of biblical scholarship. And then once I got on that path, uh, obviously loved the study of the scripture. So as much as I've been involved in practical ministry, uh, led Bible schools, raised up and sent out missionaries around the world, myself have preached around the world, and do a daily radio show, The Line of Fire. So I do practical day-to-day -day stuff all the time. A scholarship and Jewish apologetics remains an active part of my life.